Pokemon vs Digimon. These two have been around since the 90s. It would be wrong to say that one is better than the other. They are different from each other and have unique traits that make them what they are. This is Lonely Mimikyu and today we will be covering the topic of Pokemon vs Digimon. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. And if you enjoyed this one, please tap the like button. Don't forget to check out my other videos and if you have any other Pokemons or topics you would like an analysis on, please leave a comment as you may do more of this if you really like it. So without further delay, let's jump on it. Firstly, we have to compare Pokemon and Digimon. Like I mentioned, the two have been around since the 90s. Though Pokemon was released earlier, it doesn't mean it was the original and Digimon is a copy. No, that's not the case. Yes, Pokemon and Digimon both started out as games. Pokemon being pocket monsters and Digimon being digital monsters. Yes, sounds quite the same, right? Um, you have to dig deeper to see the differences. In Pokemon, Pokemon is part of the world people live, and they do coexist with one another. On the other hand, Digimon live in a parallel universe that originated in Earth's various communication networks called the Digital Universe. Now, I explained the main differences, let's explore more similarities and differences with the two. Next, Pokemon and Digimon begin as eggs, but not all Pokemon, okay? Majority of them. Digimon starts out as Digi-Egg. In Digimon, they age via a process called Digivolution, similar to Pokemon, but in this Digivolution process, they do change form and increase their power, but only for a period of time they revert back to their original form. Here comes one of the differences. Pokemon are trained and increase their level in order to evolve. Or for some specific Pokemon you need Evolution Stone. But for normal Pokemon, for example Squirtle, it evolves to Wartoil and then Blastoise. Once evolved, they stay that way. But in the case of Digivolution, for example, Agumon can evolve into so much forms. I mean, a lot. They have a six tier category or stages for this fresh, in training, rookie, champion, ultimate, and mega. Not to mention the human hybrid form, where humans and Digimon transform into a human form Digimon. If I explain further, this would take forever. Let's save this for the next time. Next thing to talk about is that Digimon can communicate with humans. Pretty much all Digimon are capable of human speech. Some of the smaller ones, like the ones at the fresh stage, may not always be capable to human speech. But as they digivolve to the next level, they will become capable of human speech. Allow me to introduce myself. Whereas the majority of Pokemon will just say their name. Some parts of their name, or they will just make some kind of noise. Another thing to mention is their consistency. Pokemon are real, in the game of course. They exist as a substitute for animals, whereas Digimon aren't. They feel real, but they're made from data, which is why they're called Digital Monsters, or Digimon for short. When comparing landscape and locations, Pokemon has a simpler approach to this, still making it realistic compared to Digimon, their world is really futuristic. Comparing the nature of the two, Pokemon is that type to have a lead character who is you and you're trained to be the best and find your way to the top. And Digimon is like that type of fighting game where it's a matter of saving the world. To summarize it all, the two are unique and works of art. They have contributed a lot to the monster genre and to say that one is better than the other would be wrong. They excel in their own ways, through their games, merch, and TV shows. If you're a fan of Pokemon or Digimon, that would really totally be up to you to decide, because they're both great and it's all about your own preference. This is all for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. What's your favorite by the way? Do you enjoy more Pokemon or Digimon? Or were you a fan of both? Do you have other suggestions of contents? Please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like this video and to subscribe, as this really helps the channel to grow, so I can bring you even more non-mainstream content. See you in the next video, Lonely Mimikyu, out.